Huh? I have so many melodies flowing through my head ever since I met the guide. But it feels like there's something missing. I could feel with my entire being that there was a final piece of the puzzle which would complete my song. But I couldn't figure out where it was. It was driving me crazy. So I snuck out without telling Alpha. I was careful not to get caught. I went toward where I felt the puzzle piece was, and eventually I arrived at the Agna Desert. That's when I heard a very loud melody. It reminded me of the one I heard on the day I met the guide. When I approached it to listen closer, I saw a red sphere. As soon as I saw the sphere, the melody was complete, and I felt it flow through my entire body. It was wonderful. But then, you know what happened? I ran into this big clunker here, saying that he'd felt some strange magnetic field or something. And that's when I realized, the Iron Heart must be there. But then this tin brain started going on about smashing the Red Sphere open and taking the Iron Heart out by himself. I never said that I would smash it. I only wanted to have a look at it. Stop making things up. Whatever. Anyway, I had to tell Alpha all about it and came back to Albion on his orders. That's why Alpha is looking for you. Why are you so amazed by what this mad woman is saying? Don't just stand there, get moving! Who are you calling a mad woman? And you! Do nod your head in agreement like that! Just get going and go see Alpha! Now! The success of this operation will lead us to victory. I'm sure that Kyle and Luna told you what they saw, so I'll cut to the chase. Both of them believe that the Red Sphere in the Agna Desert very likely contains the Iron Heart. This is a golden opportunity for us. There's no guarantee that the Iron Heart is actually inside the Sphere, but it's the best shot we've had so far, and the Magisters agree. I've mobilized a team to investigate the Red Sphere. That includes you. The excavation team will also be joining you, as they were working in the Agna Desert until recently. I hope this operation secures us an Ironheart. The incident with Jeremy included, we always watch the Ironheart slip through our fingers right before our eyes. If we can't defeat Karel, even with our strategic asset, the Guide, at our disposal, the future of humanity is grim. Good luck. Now, where was the next excavation region? Well, it's finally time for a proper introduction. My name is Reyna, and I head up the world's best excavation team. Nice to meet you. The Agna Desert. This place is paradise for us on the excavation team. There are so many exciting things to uncover, including the ruins of the ancestors. And the Red Sphere. We've never seen it before, and there are no records of it either. That's why we want to dig into it and figure out what it is ourselves. If the Iron Heart really is inside it, it'll be a historic discovery for the excavation team. And that's why I wanted to talk to you. To let you know that I am fully invested in this operation. And I look forward to working with you. See you in the desert. It's been a while. This way, please. Good luck with your assignment. I heard that this is the last remaining Ironheart. That makes me a little worried, but I'll give this mission my all, regardless. Kyle is doing aerial recon to see if the Volgus are up to anything. Luna's focusing on sensing the beat generated from the Ironheart, and she's also listening out for the unique noises generated by Volgus movements, of course. Ah, 
I can see her expression changing. See the way she's frowning? I think that means the Volgas are on the move. We need to create an environment where she can concentrate. Descendant, take care of him. For Luna to be able to concentrate, you must pacify this wasteland. Kaid, there's a lot of reverb coming from you. Quiet. Oh, I see. Shh.
Even my fans would understand what that means. And judging by the way you voice echo, we should be looking for somewhere indoors. Nice job. Extracting while underground must be related to the Red Spear and the Iron Heart. It won't be easy to bypass the security system set up by the ancestors, but we shouldn't underestimate Vulgus technology either. Let's hurry. We must stop the enemy before they extract all the data.
Hey, descendants. The reason the excavation team couldn't reach here is because the Volga started digging here first. An ace told me that they brought the Magisters here, the ones who didn't escape, and forced them to work. That's why this place is called the Asylum. According to an ace, the Magisters who were brought here for forced labor might have found some information that they couldn't have solved the code. Actually, they probably pretended not to know the code. She said that we have to hurry up with the search anyway. The Volga security increased their decryption speed, especially since operations in the sterile land. Given the reaction of the commander we encountered recently, they must not have considered the possibility that we would appear so soon. And as their time is limited, we must be attempting to extract all of the ancestor device they tested. Communications device. I can access its memory and communication filter data. I have analyzed the data we obtained from the enemy. The most frequent dimension words are sphere, red sphere shell component, and conflict. I have assessed the shell analysis data. The shell is composed of a similar material to the link to the enemy the armor. Combining all of the data, I believe we can conclude that the ancestors can serve the armor into the red sphere. That stinks.
effectively, we'll be able to obtain the Iron Heart safely. We must inform Alpha and come up with a plan.
just get to the point. Welcome back. Is there anything you want to report? Are you saying that this record was left by the ancestors who tried to use the Ironheart? And an ancient arcade weapon. What were they trying to do with the Ironheart? Were they trying to close the dimensional wall just like we're trying to do now? I don't have time to think about that right now. We'll begin operations to dig up the Red Sphere and break out the Ironheart using the RK weapon. Descendant, we will check the safety of the weapon thoroughly, so don't worry. Also, deciphering the composition of the Red Sphere was quite beneficial for us. It allowed us to start immediate production of dismantling materials. We are mass producing them, just in case. Luna and Reyna are investigating the weapon. So I want you and Kyle to clear out all enemies within the vicinity of the Red Sphere. The RK weapon and the material to destroy the Red Sphere are both ready. As long as we have no troublemakers impeding our operation, there shouldn't be any problems. We should definitely be able to get the Ironheart first this time. Alpha appears to be focused on how to use the Ironheart. He doesn't seem to be concerned about how it came to be sealed away in the first place. I want to know why the Ancestors concealed the Ironheart. At the risk of conflict and separation, there must be a good reason. Hey, what's taking you so long? Hurry up! Let's talk. I can't believe you're taking it easy when we have so little time. Uh, we're going to clear the storage in the area nearby first. I know what you're about to say. Alpha ordered us to completely clear the entire area surrounding the Red Sphere. When I was a Construction Corps leader, we were the first ones working here, along with the Descendants. We built the Digger, too. If it weren't for a surprise attack by the Vulgus, the core would still be alive. The only thing I'm interested in right now is to have my revenge on those bastards. Don't worry. When I'm done with that, I'll do my best to exterminate any enemies near the Red Sphere. Construction core leader Kyle always keeps his promises, you know. That hasn't changed since I've become a descendant. So trust me. I'll get a read on the enemy's movements from above. I'll let you manage things from the ground. Kyle. Rage and revenge eat away other human emotions and limit perspective. If you're here just to give me useless pearls of wisdom, I prefer you to get lost, guide. Our goal is to find the Iron Heart, Kyle. Your actions may prevent us from achieving this. Like I said before, I won't do anything to jeopardize the operation. I swear.
Immature kids like Lula don't understand situations like this. This is about loyalty. The spectral digger here was built when I was in charge of the construction. Volgus must have realized its power and modified it. I was too weak then. There was nothing I could do. I watched my colleagues fall with my very eyes. One of them begged me to destroy the digger with their last breath. That's what I'm here to do. I will honor that request and throw this hunk of metal off this cliff. I was actually wandering across the desert on my way to do this from the beginning. Finding the Iron Heart was just a coincidence. But this also aligns with our operation goals as it involves clearing the Volgus and destroying the enemy facility in this region. It won't interfere with the operation. I'm talking too much. If you're ready, Let's go. Descendant, only you and Luna can hear this. Destroying the Spectral Digger will attract more Vulgus. Kyle is blinded by revenge. If we allow him to continue, it will become more difficult to dissuade him, which will make it harder to assume control over the area surrounding the Red Sphere. We must make Kyle understand. This is the only way we can achieve our goal. <laughs> Don't worry, guide. I have prepared something very quickly. Would you take a peek inside my mind? Hmm. This might do the trick. Go ahead, Luna. Just you wait. I'm gonna persuade that tin brain nutcase straight away. Well done. That damn digger will also eat dust soon. I need to find out how the Volgus rebuilt the digger. That could also help us with our current operation. I also need to know what the Volgus did to my teammates. I want you to collect data while I look for somewhere on the spectral digger to set the bomb.
Nine. Eight. Hey, Kyle, you better get your hands off that thing right now. Who are you to tell me what to do, Luna? Keep your nose out of this and get lost. Damn it, can't you just hear me out for once? The bodies of your colleagues are at the base of the cliff. Are you really gonna bury them down there with that thing? Uh, guy, what Luna says, is it true? Yes. Luna and Reyna discovered records while searching for the RK weapon. We ran an analysis on the remains and found that they matched the list of fatalities from the incident. Jeez, and did you forget what our actual target is? The Iron Heart, Kyle. The Iron Heart. If we lose the Iron Heart while destroying the Digger, what kind of revenge would that be? I can practically hear the sighs of frustration from your colleagues. You're the one who get a grip, not me. Destroying the Digger can wait till later. Make it an official request. Then it'll really be revenge. Once we secure the Iron Heart, I'm sure Alpha will totally approve. You're right. I'll come back. Over. Terrible mistake, blinded by revenge. But get us right. Without the Iron Heart, nothing will bring any comfort to the souls of my own colleagues. But if we can find it and use it, that'd make me happy for both my own colleagues and my current teammates. Luna, she's not so bad. But I'll tell her that in person later, so pretend like you didn't hear this. Especially you, Guy. And you too. As you wish. Now we should get to our respective positions. I want you to help Reyna while I go see Marcus. Everything okay? Looked like there was a bit of commotion or something. Anyway, I think we found something. My excavation equipment and Luke. You have something to ask of the great. We found something strange when we were looking for traces of the ancient RK weapon. The bones of a giant creature. Given the size of the bones, it must have been as big as Corel's flagship. We've never seen anything like this before. I ran a search on the Albion database, and it came up with a match for an animal called the Caligo. Carbon dating results suggest that this Caligo is from the same era as the ruins of the ancestors. That makes it the oldest organism ever discovered in Albion. Same thing with this. Carbon dating shows it's from the same period as the ruins of the ancestors that are around here. The excavation team and I think that these bones are somehow closely related to the RK weapon. And they both existed in the same era as the Ancestors. Maybe that means something? Maybe the Ancestors used them for an experiment? Or something? I'm sure we can come up with several plausible hypotheses. I think we should also notify your... guide, is it? I'll contact HQ and have them send the info to your SC. The Caligo may be from the same era as the Ancestors, but I think they must have died out before I was created, as there is no information on them in my database. Or, access to the information may have been secretly blocked. There's so much I don't know yet. I wish we could find data that I don't know or don't have access to. Then I may understand the real reason for my existence. <laughs>
up. If we deal with him, this annoying party will be over. Hey, hey, up some moves. Now let's give this my total concentration. Thanks. widen the gap between us and them.
Great. We extracted the data as quick as we could and found out that they were also storing Caligo bones. Now I have to try to figure out why. Guide, I understand that we have to move quickly, but I'm sorry, I can't. I'm feeling dizzy from all those sounds I was exposed to. Oh, everything sounds like noise to me now. I don't think I'll be able to handle a cave or 
where everything echoes. Luna, return to Albion now. I'll take care of things here. Uh, hello? I believe your thrusters have overheated. If you can't fly, you know you're about as useful as an empty tin can. You should have a nice fix you up before you break completely.